Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Chris with Drift HQ. And I'm Cricket with Drift HQ. And this is the Drift HQ build series for Juan Barrion's 2020 Formula Drift Pro One car, C7 Z06. Just went and saw Joel. Apparently my camera was, uh, you know, a little bit of tweaking. Sent it over to the professional, so let's hope that uh, it's a little bit more clear on the videos and a little less shaky. See what I can do. All right, so we are finishing up the battery boxes for the back of the C7 Z06. And the battery boxes that we ordered, they're about an eighth of an inch too wide from this side to this side. So what we ended up doing is we put in cut out eighth inch aluminum plating that is going to go in between the battery and the battery box itself which helps it you know give it a nice finish as well I'll show you guys i have one already done in here it just gives it that little bit of extra shine to it kind of finishes off the battery box nice and neat and it also keeps the battery from bouncing around inside the box not that it could go anywhere when it's in there, as it's all bolted down, and it, and it also, as Chris just said, um, the aluminum plates will deflect the heat coming off the radiator, which will also keep the batteries from getting this hot. So it's a nice little insulator. Plus we have this 3M tape to help insulate a little bit more. So I'm going to finish these off and then Chris is going to get to wiring up everything here in the back. Speaking of Chris wiring. Hey. hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Laying down on the job as usual? Yeah, I'm taking a nap. Hey. So uh, we got most of our wiring and stuff done in the rear half of the car, so now I'm working towards the forward section. So I'm just under the dash kit and the last few things we need. We need a trigger switch for our power steering pump, as well as our brake switch and everything like that installed. So then I have all that lined up. I can actually run all of our final leads up to our kill switch, as well as our leads that are going to eventually go to our alternator and our starter as soon as we get the motor back, which I'm told is going to be in the next couple of days. Hope so. Yeah, because we're starting to run a little bit tight on time. Yeah. But, yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, luckily there's nothing in the car, so it makes it a little easier for you to yeah. maneuver around. Even though we cannot take out, out... Yeah, it'd be nice if the dashboard came out. Uh, but we can't get to the bolts to remove the dashboard because the cage is in the way. Yeah. So we just have to work around it. We're going to make the best of what we got. Still make it look good. Ugh. Speaking of looking good, what do you guys think of our battery tie down? I mean, not a battery tie down, excuse me, our fuel cell cradle. That was designed by the magic man himself, and then he let me go for it with the plasma cutter. All right, so we have finished our battery brackets, all bolted in place, and we finished up those top little shiny boys right there, just to make up that gap of difference. And we use that 3M double-sided tape to hold it in. It's also going to help our batteries stay cooler because there's no direct airflow on them and there's insulation between the battery and the plate. So we are good to go. Chris is going to start wiring this up. And I'm going to put on these back lights and that'll be it. Show me your tits, Sav. Hey. <laughs> All right, so since we got our taillights and everything mounted in place, I got all of my wires wrapped and as tight as I can to it using the existing harnesses from the taillights here. So our brake lights and taillights, I tested the circuits for that and those work just fine. And now I'm running all the wiring for my radiator fans. So after that, I got to test, make sure that I don't pop any fuses because fans, along with other things, when you first get the fan moving, it pulls a lot more amperage than when it's running. So we're just gonna check all the circuits before we finalize you know, the rear of the car. Then, Craig just has to make a few little pieces for the ducting. Probably not gonna bring our ducting all the way to the trunk lid, because it's not really necessary. We're just really trying to keep all the tire dust and everything from accumulating on top of the radiator and clogging it up. So I'm gonna uh, remove this louver. It's not doing the radiator any justice. So I'm gonna take this off, and then we're gonna start, after Chris is finished with the wiring, I'm gonna start uh, working on the ducting going up to the trunk deck of the car. So, stay tuned.
All right, guys, so we uh, ended up cutting our shroud pieces out. We turned them into 30 pieces instead of just doing one single one because we want to run our bead roller around, kind of follow the same thing we have going for like a theme. Uh, yeah. So we're marking it up. Chris is going to draw something cool on it, and we're going to bead roll it as well. So we worked really late last night on the aluminum shroud for the radiator and it worked out pretty good. Chris helped me do all the bead rolling for it and we made it so actually it will hook right up into here and not allow any of the tire debris to get into the radiator. Guten tight. Guten tight. We love it. I got one more piece to do and it's this back piece right here. It's going to come up right about there and tie it all in and then we just got to rivet it together and make some brackets we got some bobbies to do right here to mount up to that so it stays in place and then chris is going to run all of his hoses because i hear he's got hose in different area codes So we got all the rear shrouding and everything finished for the radiator now. We're gonna put a little bit of a rubber hose, probably not this thick, but just something to run along the edge and the radius of all this, just so we don't have to worry about our uh, fan shroud rubbing into the radiator itself. Cause as soon as you grind through those fins, you basically throw the radiator away. But we got it secured to the upper portion of our fuel cell here cause the angles of it actually worked out perfect. So we didn't have to make any additional mounting brackets for it. And then we got a nice little piece here that matches the contour of the back of our trunk just so everything seals nice and airtight. So all the air passing over the car, ideally will get pushed down to the radiator. The fans are gonna do 99% of our work, but you know, every little bit of extra air helps.